I'm going to begin by explaining the easiest version and then explain things that can, you can do to make it more accurate. Okay, step one, build your blind portal. You know, in this animation, you write down your cores, so negative 72, 224. Put on chunk warriors, go to the closest corner, and go up a couple blocks so it doesn't fly into your portal. Then you throw the eye. Look at it, and... Uh, oops, I accidentally threw, the, threw a second one. But this is the lineup you want. Uh, the right side of the crosshair should be aligned with the left side of the pupil. So you check your angle, 129.3. I would, oh, I would write this down on paper, or, or just say it out loud. You also take note of your major coordinates, ma major direction. Uh, negative x. You should take note of where your cursor is in relation to the, to the yellow lines. So right now it's on the six, like six and a half yellow lines from from here, from the axis. Like this is the axis. So then when you go 90 degrees, you don't have to look at your coordinates or anything. You can just go six and a half to this one as well. Because if you, if you have six and a half here, and you line up with six and a half here, you uh, you will go exactly 90 degrees, and you line up with a chunk border, so like it's impossible to mess up. Imagine jumping like doing this accurately with four jumps, like 17 and a half blocks that you can't on this slope. All right, that's what, one reason why this is better. And then you do the second thing exactly like the first, 127.2. So that's a 2.1 degree change. You uh, you look at the sheet. We got a 2.1 change. This is the change in your dominant core. This nether, this your major coordinates. It change is 55. So we got to subtract 55 from x because our major coordinate was negative x. So negative 55 on the x. Our x should be 127. Negative 127. We align ourselves with the angle, which was 129.3 and uh, we just go in this direction until our x-coordinate is correct and uh, terrain is bad in this case, but, you know just hold your angle for it, so this is 127 stand roughly in the middle of the block and we're in the starter so, you can't always hold your angle in the nether because the terrain is usually pretty bad, so what you can also do is you can calculate the change in your minor chord as well. Do everything as usual. Negative 97.9 on the first line, pretty much. Go to the first line. And it's especially important to remember that it's line number one this time. Negative 99.4. So that's a degree change of 1.5. The change in the major chord is 76. And for the change in the minor chord, you look at which yellow line it uh, the eye pointed to. So in this case, it pointed to the first yellow line. So we use the first column. So the change in the minor chord is 10. And if it doesn't line up perfectly with one of the lines, you just, uh, like if it's between, Two lines, you just take a value that's between on the charts as well. Try to wing it. Yeah, so in this case our major chord is positive x and our minor chord is negative z. That means we gotta add 76 to our x and subtract 10 from our z. So final coordinates should be 76, uh, 186. 76, 186. And that's the strong one. In the examples so far, I have been able to ice by because it's been relatively close, like less than a thousand blocks. Uh, but if it's more than a thousand, it's pretty f difficult to ice by unless you do something more accurate. And one way of doing that is going two chunks instead of one. So, uh, first I, everything is as normal, uh, 127.8. And then you align yourself correctly and just go in this direction two chunks instead of one. So over here. 
Yeah, negative 129.4. And now we look at the two chunk version instead. 1.6 angle change, two chunks. That's 140 to the major, which is X. 143. And the, this is the sixth, sixth yellow line, I think, approximately. So negative uh, 107 to the Z. So 140, 143 to the X and negative 107 to the Z. 158, 136. Yeah, so if you want even more precise, you can use F3 and C. Uh, so you just do everything as normal, except you press F3 and C to read the coordinates. Because the F3 and C has more precision. This one is negative uh, 61.3, but this one is. 0.32, so get extra precision. We get an angle change of 84. Look at the sheet. 84. So gotta add 136 to the major chord, which is, which is X. And the minor chord was between 4 and 5 on the yellow line, so this should be, I don't know, like 70, 76, I would say. So that means we should go to 161.77. Really? Oh. Lastly, there's one thing, one more thing that you can do to improve the accuracy even more. And that is to do uh, chunculated. Which is an idea by K4, that instead of using your nether coordinates, you should use your overworld chunk coordinates. So, in this case, we're at negative 9, 2. Uh, negative 9, 2. Negative 2. But our overworld chunk chords are uh, negative 13, 5. And normally you can to get your coordinates in the nether from your chunk chords, you should double these. So, negative uh, 26, 10. And you will notice that these coordinates are way different, even though they should be the same. And this is because the the game try like needs to find a valid spot to, to spawn the portal, so it can't always spawn it at the correct chords. But it tried to spawn it at these chords. Um, and because triangulation is done in the overworld, the converted chunk coordinates are more accurate. Right. So you should be using these instead. And this matters a lot more when you go from the overworld to the nether, which I did right here. Uh, there's a big discrepancy. It doesn't matter as much if you're doing it from a blind portal. Uh, so let's see, let's go somewhere here. So right now we're at 10, negative 2, 2, 2. And our overworld chords here are 10, negative 2, 2, 2, once we convert them. So they line up. And this is usually the case when you blind. I won't go into detail why, but that's just usually the case. So when you're making a blind portal, it doesn't... not super important to do chunculated in my opinion. But if you are doing calculated from, like, let's say, your, your home portal, the one you enter the nether from, then it, then it is uh, much more important to not use the nether cords.